Hey there, welcome back to the Weeb Lounge. I am Nick, and in this Blue Archive character spotlight, we're taking a look at Harana. She is a, at least what looks like a World War II reject vampire that got drafted. Um, I'm going with it. All right, this sniper girl is, uh, I, I really don't know what to make of her. I, I'm not too sure what to make. I, I like to do more commentary and everything, but I'm just kind of like World War II-ish. Okay, got the vampire thing going and like red on her wing for some reason. Okay, whatever. I'm just going with it. Let's get into the details. She is a striker type character. She'll be on the field fighting for you. Roll in position. She is a rear sniper. Environment, she loves the urban environment, hates the outdoors. I guess, you know, during the daytime vampire thing, that, I guess that makes sense. Indoors, she's kind of neutral with, which maybe that doesn't work so well, but whatever. In terms of being a sniper, you figure outdoors all good, but not in this case. All right, attack type is blue or mysterious. Ooh, and defense type is yellow or heavy armor. Let's go ahead and get into the skills. The normal skill, exploding exotic. What? Okay, I'm just, I'll, I'll just go with it. Single target damage attack dealing 200% of attack power. 30 second cooldown. Um, okay, that, that, that's fine. I'll just go with it. Her passive skill, Gourmet Dignity? Increases her hit points by 14%. All right, well, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory there. Her sub skill, Gourmet Calm. Maybe I don't have these translated right. It's kind of weird, but... Whatever, that's what I'm getting out of this thing. It increases attack power by 10% when not moving, and a proper sniper will set up and not move, so that should entail most of her shots, right? So it's basically a 10% damage buff, more or less. I mean, you one would think. All right, now her EX skill, EX skill can be kind of deadly. It is a straight line damage attack that can hit multiple enemies as it passes through. So it's a real thin line that you can kind of position on the screen and it's just whatever targets happen to be in its path. It deals damage equal to 506 of attack power, but every target that it hits, it reduces that damage by 10%, okay? Down to a minimum of 30% damage. It's still gonna do at least 30% of that total damage to a target, regardless of how many it goes through. So that has to be an awful lot of targets lined up for her to get to that, but yeah. Let's go ahead, send her into battle, and I'm not too sure how quickly she can get through this being a sniper and all. They usually have pretty slow attack damage, or attack speed per shot chamber thing. The thing Car 98, but not Car 98. That's a different character. That's, that's a way different character. Oh, the EX skill name was Elegant Penetration. I didn't want to say it. I, I really didn't. <laughs> I just kind of glossed over it. It's like, eh, okay, it's Elegant whatever. Uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, do that. Yeah, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. Get in there. <laughs> it is kind of a neat character. I, I like the whole, you know, ambience of the character. But yeah, it's kind of you, yeah. I have her in a leader role, but you're not leading anyone really. Okay, so set up for that shot. She's got the attack power boat boost. Bang, bang, bang. Seems to be doing all good so far. Really slow. Taking a little bit of damage, but nothing big. And I don't know how fast she's going to be charging up her sniper thing here, but I really want to hit more than one target if I can. Let's just go ahead and do this. Well, okay, hit. That's pretty good. Can't, ain't going to argue with that. That was pretty damn decent. But here's the thing with this character, like, there's a lot of fights where she just doesn't shine, you know, like big boss fights, stuff like that. Like, if you put her against, like, the stupid ja uh, Jack in the Box thing, uh, whatever the heck that thing is called, she does really good because it, it's it's got the uh, special armor and, and she can just blow away special armor. You know, she's mysterious damage, so mysterious damage does good against special armor, blue versus blue. That'll actually work out really good, good putting her in there. She'll do some massive damage. And, but you're seeing her in the arena more for one reason and one reason o o only, and that is the big mama thing, red girl with the big shield in arena, you know, the tank girls, uh, what is it, Tsubaki? I wrote it down over here because I'm bad with names. She 
can potentially one-shot Subaki. It's the only character that can one-shot Subaki, as far as I know, because it just, just uh, it's happened to me multiple times. I've done it to other people multiple times. So yeah, it's it's one of those things. Ooh, how many targets can we get? Right here? Let's see if they're running that way or something. Fire, fire, oh, they spread out. Ooh, it still hit two. All right, cool. <laughs> well, that confirms that. Oh, but yeah, th this character, whenever I, I'm in arena, I see this character. I was like, oh, should I take Subaki? I don't know if I should take Subaki because Subaki gets hit by her dead. So basically in arena, she's doing good right now. In other special circumstances, she's doing pretty good. But for the most part, so far anyways, in most general fights, PvE kind of stuff or whatever, she's not that great. She really isn't. Her damage is low compared to other characters because of that mysterious damage that she does. There's not much that you're fighting right now that have the have the uh, special armor protecting them to where she would shine. So, yeah, it's just kind of a thing. But let's go ahead and shoot the boss, see what kind of damage it does. It's still one-shot the boss, but it's not really saying much because I'm in normal 1-1, one, one, so it's just, yeah. Do it again. Why not? You just pull out a little box to stand on. I just know that, what is that? It it's like an orange box or something. The fruit box. And she eats a cookie. Okay, she likes her cookies. Okay, so it's a vampire that doesn't mind going out out during the daylight, eats cookies, and shoots shoots people in the face. It's it's a great character. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. But yeah, for now, she's pretty much relegated to just the arena, especially when you're going up against Subaki. Subaki, Subaki. And the Jack in the Box little fight deal guy thing. Yeah. That, that's where you're going to find her. That's where she's going to be useful. Not a completely worthless character, but other than those instances, you're not really going to be using her that much. We'll see you in the next video.